Welcome back to episode 21 of our New Zealand road trip. Christchurch has surprised us in the best way possible so far and there's still so much more to see. So today we're going to check out three spots that all came highly recommended by locals as Christchurch must visits. We should do this more often, ask people where should we go when we come to your town because they actually know. I it's know. crazy we're how that works out, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's always amazing. We're going to explore inside a chunk of lava on a beach in a classic Kiwi town, walk a portion of a track that shows some of Canterbury's most spectacular coastal views and feed our bellies with some more local suggestions in a town that was nearest to the epicenter of the 2011 earthquakes that apparently has reinvented itself. Someone's spray painted on. It feels like we're going into like a horror movie or something. Hey, this is adventuring. We'll explain more about what these three are soon, but this is the second to last video of this season, so it's gonna be a chill, right along with us kind of vloggy day. Good morning from Christchurch. We are on the move again though. Well, kind of. Well, <laughs> down the road. <laughs> so we've, we've packed up the bags. This might be really silly. We've packed up the bags and tonight we're gonna sleep in a jail. And like in theory, when we were planning this trip and planning to stay at this hostel, a jailhouse hostel it's called, it, it sounded really fun, but now that it's happening, I'm not so sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, it's really cold, isn't it? And we were looking on the um, on the website last night to be like, are there heaters on the wall? What is this gonna be like? <laughs> but anyway, we're taking our bags on a drive today because we're gonna go and check out a new area that we have, we've never scoped out other than when we were up no. in the gondola and we got views kind of down. So we are going to Littleton, Godley Head and Sumner. And we've actually been to New Brighton, which is north of that area. But it's a pier, isn't it? Yeah, that big cool. long um, pier. So we're excited to explore somewhere new and potentially do the Godly Head hike as well. Oh, that was that came really highly recommended on mm. Instagram, didn't it? But it's eight k's. We won't probably do the whole we're thing. We're not going to do the whole. Thing. But it's just kind of like a cruise hangout, yeah, chill out, check a new, yeah, check out a new area kind of day. Yeah. <laughs> With butter and fats. Yum. I think that might be one of the best coffees that we've had in a long time. All press. Mm. Do you reckon that's why? All press Probably. is a great um, coffee company. Now, established in New Zealand, eh? Yeah. And I think they just recently, was it All Press that sold to um, yes. uh, Asahi brand? Anyway, don't know why we're going off on that on that tangent. Um, we should do this more often, ask people where should we go when we come to your town because they actually know. I it's know. crazy it's how that works out, it's, it's always amazing. Yeah. Except for my, um, my, what was it? Man, I need coffee, I need to drink more of this. My soupy thing. Oh, ramen. No, ramen. I, even oh, I was wow. like, I have no idea what you're talking about, babe. <laughs> okay, so what is this little spot called here? Where this are we? This place is called Sumner, and it's a really popular touristy town, especially in the summer, although it seems to be cranking on a Friday yeah. as well, and then, like, well, it's not winter yet, but, yeah, it's, um, there's the beach just down there. We're just wandering in the village at the moment, which mm. is just, like, one main street, a couple yeah, of little A lot of side. charm, eh? Yeah. A lot of colours, a lot of creativity, big old Hollywood cinema aren't there, a lot of hanging lights and I don't quite know how to explain it more than that. There's Villagy. containers and yeah, I'm down with this. Good vibes. I have to say when I think about Christchurch, I don't often think about the coastline and the beaches, but that looks really nice. There's a queue through here. Hey, this is a really cool spot. Notice that that's actually a cave. Can we go in there? I, well, I'm going in. <laughs> Oh, what a rebel, yeah, let's go. I'm going to prison already tonight. So. That's true. How, it can't get any worse, can it? Yeah, look at this. Oh, it goes right through. Can we go through? Yeah. I was just about to say, kids would love this, and then you said, can we go through? <laughs> oh, it's falling on the rocks. Let's go. We're going on an adventure. Yeah. The 
was so cute. Everyone who just walked past us was like, mind your head, be careful. <laughs> Everyone's like looking out for each other. What? While some of the beach is only 400 metres, one of the best walks in the area runs parallel with the coast for kilometres. Just a short but really windy drive up over the hill is a car park called Taylor's Mistake to start the hike. For a quick minute we thought our mistake was not reading the closures online before visiting. Um. I read that part, like the gun emplacements are closed, but that says track closed. There's a whole track that's closed. Look, we're just going to have to weigh it. Well, we might not be able to walk much of the track, but I have figured out why it's called Taylor's Mistake. So that's Taylor's Mistake car park, and this is kind of the launch point. And if you do the full loop, I think it comes back here as well. Um, 1853, there was a... A skipper had thrown himself overboard in an alcoholic fit. So the first mate, whose name was Mr. Taylor, had got a little bit confused and thought that this area here was Littleton and had basically come into the wrong harbour. I don't know, just didn't know what he was doing because the, because the skipper, yeah, maybe he was drunk too because the skipper was gone in an alcoholic fit, whatever that entails, by jumping off the ship. So that's kind of where the name came from and then it stuck. It might be, they look like holiday homes, eh? One of them have like padlocks on the outside. Yeah. Strange start to this one. Very strange start. There's so many signs. <laughs> this looks so like rough, me, eh? Telling me about fishing, like <laughs> I'm not going to go fishing on a track. Then it's there's a hazard fun. sign that says like someone's spray painted on. It feels like we're going into like a horror movie or something. Hey, this is adventuring. Right? Hey, I'll go first. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, somebody's left their study notes here. Nationals, good luck with your event. <laughs> Well, a weird start, but it is beautiful. <laughs> so pretty. And the further that we go around, the more we can see out. I just looked on the map. This is Pegasus Bay. The sheer cliff faces are unreal. Imagine living up there. Why does it seem like an eternal sunrise or sunset today? It is, yeah, it's really strange. But anyway, there are some exceptional houses up in that hill. This whole coastline, if we lived in Christchurch, this is the kind of area that I would want to be in. There's is, is a special feeling around there. But this sky is just strange. Okay, so this is the point of the loop. So it's 1k back, 3.9 if you go up around that way, around the headland that side, and then that's kind of godly head. Of that side. Well, I don't think it really matters which way we go, although we may as well go coastal because we're not going to complete the loop, are we? Because that's going to take us another, yeah, one and a half hours. Oh my god, it's only been 15 minutes. 15 minutes, but we stopped so <laughs> we stopped so frequently, especially. Like, we must be halfway. Especially at the start, you can see the uh, the track running along through here. We walked about 2Ks and then retraced our steps back so that we could make it to our third spot in time for lunch. A few of the food suggestions were right up our alley and it's hard to walk for hours when you're dreaming of food and beer. A quick and beautiful coastal drive later we pulled into Littleton. 
It's known for having the largest port in the South Island and is a pretty quirky place that was once a common spot for cruise ships. They've all left obviously, but the local icon hasn't. Here he is! This is Hector. <laughs> He's a sled dog and he represents the commitment of Littleton to exploration in Antarctica. And he represents courage just really cute. <laughs> it looks like he's he's abs he's facing out to the water as well, like just ready to go on an adventure. He's got his little like sled um, harness on. Look. Doesn't he? Oh yeah. You can see the colours changing as the bronzing, giving him some pats. He's cute. While the streets look and feel quite artsy, there's still some real history in the town, perfectly mixed in with a new vibe. Littleton was one of the hardest hit in the earthquake, so much like the CBD, there's reminders of that in places still. With that came the chance to rebuild and they've done an awesome job. It's colourful, quirky and home to some epic cafes, bars and restaurants. And whoever recommended Arbor Wood Fire Pizza, we love you. Literally cooked right here in front of us. You can see it, you can see him prepping it into the into the wood fire oven there. It's Looks still like bubbling. It's still bubbling, eh? It looks so good. It's so much warmer in here now. We just randomly ended up sitting right opposite like where the chef was making the food and where the um, where the fire was basically starting up. It was pretty light to begin with and now he's like properly got it going. Small little unsuspecting place in here. Um, I love the roof because I imagine if you were here when it was raining, this would be such a scene because you just see that I like it, and then the, and then this is it. Yeah, it's like, and then this is a ship right here as well, right in front of the bar. That was an outrageously good pizza, though. That was perfection. It was crispy on the bottom. It had good flavour. You could tell that the tomato sauce was like homemade. Mm. A little bit of garlic in there. It was like rich, but not not overpowering with the cheese. Good cheese, good olive oil, good yeah. fresh basil. I could go on and on. I like the peeps <laughs> in there too. I was chatting to them and they were saying they're like, oh, it's a bit down buzz at the moment there's not much happening because it's just like a random weekday lunchtime they said you come in here after five o'clock people are hanging off the rafters and there's a lot more of a vibe oh we're gonna have to come back yeah we we, we said we're gonna do beer and pizza but then we're like no we'll save the beer to go to this place what's it called again uh, Eru Eruption, Eruption, Eruption Brewing. Brewing and then we're sitting there and says goes great pizza but you know what's missing so we ended up getting a cider to go with it just one to share I'm so full so that we can go to the next spot now we've got to try some craft beer now Okay, but I couldn't say, like Dane was like, just leave that last bit of pizza. It's like, oh my god, that's illegal. I would never. No, oh, we're going to have to take you to jail. Okay, the jail jokes are going to have to stop at some point, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it's automatic. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love it when you've got the brewery right there. Half ourselves. Jump behind the bar. <laughs> oh, yeah, up here. <laughs> this is just a classic Kiwi microbrewery craft beer kind of place. You've got hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of tanks, one of which is actually fermenting right now. I could see the airlock going nuts. But then you've got like cheers from your nan. You know, <laughs> cheers for your nan by the fire and none of these match. Look at this. Just literally just hack everything else together, spend all of your money on the on the kegs and the setup and the tanks for the brewing and the rest of it is just literally just pulled together in the most random way Aww. with Rick Astley. We're being rickrolled while we're talking right now. But good views, look at this. Now. So I went for something unique, a milkshake IPA. It's kind of a a very subtle sweet IPA with a milkshakey creamy sort of aftertaste. I've never had anything like that before but sort of silky, a little bit of like vanilla. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Could be a little bit colder but... Could be a bit colder. <laughs> I mean, it... Could be a bit colder. I mean this, not the weather. I got a lager. 
A teeny tiny lager. A teeny tiny lager. Someone's too full from their uh, from their pizza. I ate way too much pizza. <laughs> Nice stuff. Nice. So we're about to go to check into the prison. We're gonna put it in like a whole kind of video, but this is we've pretty much come to the end. The end of this this whole Reveal New Zealand season two. I don't wanna go. We're we're literally going back to Auckland for one day and then going off on another trip. <laughs> another trip. Oh yeah, that's true. We've got a lot going on. <laughs>